Hi, Dr. Puckett here. I want to talk with you today about low blood sugar. Low blood sugar is the part where when we wake up in the morning and we just don't have enough energy to get moving, when our brain's fogged and, we, and we're sluggish, lethargic, and uh, so if we take a fasting blood sugar, that number's ideally somewhere between 85 and 100. If it's below 65, this has got potential of being a medical issue where there are some medical causes that can cause this to happen. You can have tumors, you can have uh, uh, adrenal issues, and if you've got tumors or adrenal issues affecting your blood sugars, these are medical problems. If the number's somewhere between 65 and 85, which means it's in laboratory range but below what a healthy person has, this is what's called the normal sick person. If it's between 65 and 85, you're much more likely to have what's called reactive hypoglycemia now, or hypoglycemia after eating. And so you eat a meal, your blood sugar goes up, and then you don't have anything except sugars in that meal, and so it starts to crash pretty quickly because sugars burn really fast. The sugar goes down, and then we hit that place where our blood sugar drops, and now we're hypoglycemia, low blood sugar. And then this is when we start getting our cravings, this is start when we start getting our appetites, and we get really hungry and moody. This is what the candy bar ads that talk about hangry. This is hypoglycemia. Hangry is hypoglycemia. Okay, this is a lifestyle issue. This starts off when we skip breakfast and we have a bunch of coffee, we eat a bunch of sweets for our snacks, and, or at lunch, and it's all bread and carbs and pasta. This is what sets us off on this roller coaster of reactive hypoglycemia, and it wrecks havoc on our mood. It wrecks havoc on our ability to think creatively and to think, think well. Um, so this is a lifestyle issue, and this is what we're addressing as we get you better because what we really care about is getting your brain going. Okay, share this with someone that needs this information. This is a lifestyle issue when it's between that in that 65 to 85 range, and you can do better. Thanks a lot.